Okay, so let's see if I can get this. I think the kids may have messed with this because it doesn't do the way it used to do. I came in here one day and there was like a bunch of toys all over my desk. I'm like, bruh. Yeah. Kids. Make sure you join the Discord down in the description box below. We talk about a lot of different things all the time, right? Weather's starting to cool off a little bit. It had been so hot that it just completely sucked. Like right now, it's one o'clock on Monday. So it's the day after 4th of July. And normally around this time, yeah, because it's like, what, 1.15. About this time, the man cave starts to heat up and gets hot. Excuse me. However, the last few days, it really hasn't been so bad. And... That's good because I'm able to get a lot of stuff done, right? When it was so scorching hot, which the rest of the country now is suffering through. But when it was so hot here, there was a lot of things I needed to do, but just couldn't really get done. And so today I started work super early, uh, was able to get off and then did some work outside, redid part of the chicken coop, did some landscaping, still a lot of crap and so i feel pretty pretty darn good but anyhow it's not what this video is about this video is about people buying homes sight unseen now this is becoming a common thing or it has been a common thing here in seattle tacoma area for quite some time um you have a lot of people who will buy a house sight unseen or and or I should say, they waive inspections. They don't need inspections done. Their concern is, is if they do some sort of inspection, by the time they get around to do that, the house is gone anyway because someone else has bought it and they're not gonna take their time or waste their time with an inspection, right? An inspection is a very important thing because obviously it will tell you certain key issues that are wrong with the house. I always tell folks that don't go for the pretty because you can make any house look amazing right you can make any dump look really really good and you know they can take an old brick house that had a fire on the inside of it pressure wash the outside of the house make it look immaculate on the outside put some paint in areas that it needs to that fresh pretty paint and buyers look at that and they're like, yeah, they smell it. It smells new because it's, it's paint. They cut a couple of pieces of wood in there so you can smell that fresh wood. And they walk in there thinking that they have a, an amazing house. And it looks great, but it's not. It's fool's gold. So they don't see what goes on behind the scenes, the things that were not fixed. You know, there could be a pipe that was leaking. Some some of these old houses have pipes that are like old antique things that you that look like they're part of a fire hydrant. We have an old house and under the sink it looks like a big old fire hydrant type thing. I mean that thing would never wear out because it is huge. But let's say that that thing was leaking behind a wall or something. And instead of them going through and fixing that, because you really can't, they tell you there was a, we had a plumber that was looking at adding a bathroom in here before the lumber prices got crazy. And he was saying that if they had to replace uh, some of the plumbing, they would just replace everything because it's a lot easier to do, especially when you're dealing with these old pipes. They just don't like working with those. They'd rather put things in that is more modern and, and much more flexible to use, right? But a contractor can easily fix things to where you won't know until it's too late. So you'll go through that house and look at it, or a realtor will go through that house and look at it, and it looks completely fine, right? That's one of the reasons why I do not buy a house that has been renovated. Don't buy, I mean, I can't tell you what to do, but personally, I want to buy a house in its rawest form. It may not be the prettiest. Carpet might be worn out. And people say, there's a lot of money you have to put into it. That's true. That's very, very true. 
But when you buy a house that has been fully remodeled and you don't know the details of what's going on, a good contractor can make it so that even an inspection may not find certain things. And there are certain key issues that are going on that you don't see until they turn the water on or until the power comes on or until you have to flush the toilets. You see what I'm saying? Like there's certain key things until you move the refrigerator from the wall. House that I had in New Mexico, it had, if when you pull the refrigerator from the wall, there was a big square that was cut out from the wall and you could see the ground. Now, why that was done, I don't know. I don't know. And it didn't make a whole lot of sense, but they had cut out a piece of the wall. You could literally see the ground and the section that it was at, it didn't make a lot of sense. Like I still don't quite understand how that was done or why it was done or anything like that because the rest of the house, it was a slab foundation. The rest of the house should be on a slab, but yet we saw dirt and this was in the middle of the house. This goes back to what, and the house had been remodeled. So it goes back to the point of sometimes especially when you have a, a contractor that's running out of money or things are getting tight and they just do quick fixes. This is kind of a situation where they just push the refrigerator and you wouldn't check back there until the refrigerator is crappy or you wanted to replace it and then you notice the hole. That's not gonna be a place where an inspector is going to go. You see what I'm saying? It's things like that. They're not going to always find everything. An inspector is not gonna know about your sewer. The sewer line coming from the street to your house, they're not going to have a clue as to what's going on. So when, when you see people buying homes sight unseen or without an inspection, here it's because they're afraid of losing out on the possibility of getting the home. Now, when you go to other places in the country, it's almost unheard of. People buy houses and they get an inspection done and they, they buyers are very demanding about what they want right and sellers get frustrated that's most of the country here and in certain key areas not the case <laughs> it's not the case someone else will just basically buy the house as is and they know that sellers here know that they know that if you're not going to buy it someone else will for someone they may even knock the house down they may like the location this is a completely different animal here not that it doesn't happen in other places happens very often in this region. They may see a house that they can't even stand and they don't care what it looks like or what condition it is. They may knock it down anyway and completely build a whole new house there because it's much cheaper for them to do all of that than to basically keep hunting for houses that appeal to them and that still they want certain things done a certain way. You have some people that are very particular about what they want, where the windows have to be, where the sink has to be, the views that they get, you know, the the garage. They want to have this many, you know, uh, car garage. They want to make sure that their bathrooms are in this certain order. They have a big walk-in closet. There are people that are very, very detailed about what they want. You know, they don't want this color granite, but they want this. And they don't want this color flooring, but they want this. And so folks like that, that have the ability to, will just buy a house and like this and just knock it down and say, okay, sadate, and they'll completely clear out everything. So they don't have to worry about inspections or sewer scopes or anything like that because they're gonna just gut everything anyway, right? All of that's gonna get fixed. The vast majority of people don't really have that. And you're seeing in other parts of the country because it has been such a hot housing market nationwide, you have people who are now frantic buying because they have a little bit more cash and they're concerned that, dang, I can't even get a house. Who knows when the rates are going to change? And so, or, you know, who knows what's going to happen in terms of the economy? So a lot of people are trying to buy, 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 and there's not enough houses available and you don't have a lot of product out there. There's not a lot of building supply out there. <laughs> because I mean, we just now got lava rocks. We finished our whole landscaping thing three months ago. And we just now are able to get lava rock. There's still certain rocks that we wanted to get for landscaping. You can't even find it. 
So there, there's such a shortage of supply of materials that builders can't really build because everything was closed because of COVID. There was not a lot of production going on. There's not a lot of shipping companies that were shipping stuff to the U.S. because stuff was just around the world just stopped. So now things are coming back and hopefully the housing situation across most of the country will start to ease and cool off. That won't be the case here or on the West Coast. More specifically, Seattle, Tacoma area, Portland, and most of California, <laughs> right? It just, it, I think we're going to be in this for a very long time where just trying to find housing is going to be very, very difficult. Here, unlike the rest of the country, getting some sort of inspection done is something I would definitely say do anyway. You may run the risk of losing out on the house. The problem is, is that people will end up doing an inspection on a house. Inspector comes out, does all the inspection, and then boom, house is gone. <laughs> right? House is gone. Now, some, and this is a good one. Some, like when, before we bought this house, the person that was selling the house, they already did an inspection. They had a detailed report and it was available on the countertop. So you could look through and see everything. It's like, perfect. Some will do that. So it's kind of a preemptive thing because they're trying to, the people that had this house, excuse me, the person that owned it, he died. This was a rental. So he, he died. And his son lives in, I think, Alaska or someplace. And he didn't want to deal with the whole rental thing, smart guy. And so he wanted to just sell it and be done. Smart. And so he wanted to make sure everything was just ready to go. And he didn't have to deal with the headache of going back and forth, back and forth. And so some you luck into certain situations like that. But most of the time, that's not the case. And a lot of these sellers are not doing any sort of pre-inspection or an inspection report for you and by the time you get around to do it it's too late to do it i would say go into a house typically i would not buy a house that has been completely remodeled from top to bottom it's very tempting but personally i wouldn't do that second thing i would buy a house on a rainy day or look at a house on a rainy day why it tells you a lot about the roof because you're not going to be, the house may look amazing, but the roof is 40 years old and you won't know because you can't really see it. You can get one of those little telescopic arms and a camera and take pictures, but again, you're not going to really be able to see the true quality of it, right? And so taking a look at that roof, especially if it's an asphalt type roof, metal roof is a little different, but asphalt type of roof or that tar type stuff, some of that stuff breaks down and wears down rather quickly. And so you may have a leak that's going on somewhere and you're not going to know if it's a bright sunny day like today. You're only going to find out once it rains. This time of year it doesn't rain for the next month or so. So you would buy a house today, move in it, live in it. This is great. Rain comes and you have a river flowing through your house because the leak, the, the roof was really bad. So for me personally, I would not get a house that's remodeled unless I know who did the remodeling. Period. Or if you were a part of the remodel. Let's say that you got a house like this, you bought it, and then you're saying, hey, I want to hire people to remodel it. That's different. But walking into a situation where a house has been completely remodeled and you don't know what's going on, what they're hiding, I wouldn't do it. Here, there's a lot of old houses, a lot of knob and tube wiring, a lot of people that spliced wires using modern uh, uh, electric and then the, the knob and tube, which is illegal, and they've spliced those things together. It's a fire hazard waiting, waiting to happen. You won't know because you're not an electrician and you won't be able to go through the walls to check and see. You see what I'm saying? So for me personally, I would get a house that's in its raw form. It's not the prettiest thing, but at least I know what I'm putting into it. It's kind of like the way I, I look at growing my own garden. When I grow my own food, I kind of know what's going on. I don't know what's going on when I go to the store and pick up something that's pretty in a package. But when I grow it, I know it's not going to taste the best, but at least, well, that's not always true. Some things are great. But at least I know what's going on. Buying a house is the same thing. 
So I would definitely try to do a, an inspection report if you can. Other than that, I would choose a basic house. I wouldn't choose a house that has holes all in the wall, but I would choose just a regular house that doesn't have any sort of remodeling, a house that maybe didn't have a whole lot of you know owners in the past, um, that type of thing, right? You just wanna go into it smart and then take a good honest assessment of the house while you're looking at it and what are the things that need to be fixed? Is it move-in ready? Or do you need to actually do a lot of stuff in order to make it work? If it if that's the case, probably not. But if it's move-in ready, but it's outdated, or the paint looks gross, or it's got the paneling, that wood grain paneling, which we had, we were afraid once we took it off, there'd be holes behind the, the paneling, but it wasn't. The walls were perfectly fine. They just wanted to switch it up. I guess the, the owners of this wanted to switch it up or something. I don't know. But <clears throat> you take those risks, you take those calculated gambles, but the big key things is making sure that roof is good. That is, the, that is one of the key factors, the roof, the heating, and the uh, plumbing. Those are the, and the electric, those are such key things here um, because there's certain things that people avoid. For example, the water heater. Water heaters are supposed to be strapped down right? If not, that's a, a code violation. They have to have earthquake straps. It's a code violation, right? So if something were to happen later on and you, they said, hey, this was not even in code, that's your fault. It could be even where insurance may not cover it because that's a requirement. So I would always make sure that I have a very well knowledgeable realtor and I would also make sure that if you have a friend that is a contractor or that understands just the basics of construction, have them go with you while you're looking at houses so that they can look at certain key things and the typical hidden things, right? There's these typical hidden pieces that a lot of contractors do or a lot of homeowners know about and they try to hide certain things so that you can't see it until it's too late. That's what I would do, is make sure you have someone that can go through with you and that can kind of check right on the fly and be ready to pull the trigger. And if they say, you know what, it's it's not the prettiest house, but it's there's no major issues that I can tell. You know, have someone that can get on top of the roof, take a look, walk around and see. Because sometimes, again, the the roof looks great, like it's a brand new roof. But as soon as you step on it, there's like a, it, it, it's, it's rotten. The wood is rotten. Because maybe a contractor, instead of replacing a good chunk of the wood of the roof, they just replaced the shingles. And so now you have a roof that looks really new on the outside. So if you take a look at it, it looks like it's got 30 years of life left. But when you really take a step on it, it, it is rot. So again, it's important to have someone who is going to be able to take the, the time to actually go through, take a look at the house, walk around. I think a lot of times, and, and certain things I disagree with, I don't think homes should be staged. Because what happens is when a house is staged, and they there, there's a couple of things. If you go into an open house and you find that the house is staged, and you have a very, very, very attractive realtor, a lot of times I avoid those situations. Why? Because they're trying to throw candy in your direction <laughs> and typically you're not paying attention to the things you need to pay attention to. If it's a guy, let's say it's a husband and wife, they come in. The woman is gonna be so, typically, and the guy too maybe, is gonna look at all of the updates and the, the pretty and the sparkles and all that. The guy is gonna be happy that there's something pretty to look at, right? Besides just the house. So you have those things working against you and you're not thinking clearly. And when you get some time by yourself and you take a look at certain things, you start to notice a layered approach of a lot of different things and you start to add them up in your head like, oh, there needs to be painting all around the trim, all around the house. What's that cost going to be? Oh, you know, there's a lot of outdated stuff, you know, like the, they did some remodeling, but it's half remodeled. Like there's a lot of kitchen counters, uh, tops are, are 
granite, but they didn't replace the cabinets and the cabinets look kind of dated. So now it's going to cost a lot of money because you have to hire someone who's going to have to remove that granite countertop, put in new ones. And a lot of times contractors don't want to touch something that has already been touched by another contractor. They just don't want to really mess with that. So pay attention when you go through houses, whether it's an open house, whether it's an existing house, if it's a remodel or even a partial remodel, typically I stay clear of those. Try to get an inspection if you can. If you can't get an inspection, because obviously the housing market's so tight, try to have a person that can take a look for you, with you, uh, and point out certain key things. Be sure to get a sewer scope if you have time for that. A sewer scope basically is a guy comes out, he sticks it through the water or the sewer uh, system of your house, and they go all the way out to the street. There's a camera, and they're looking for any sort of deviations in pipes, busted pipes, cracked pipes, uneven pipes, disconnected pipes, all of those types of things, right? Because if there's a problem, sewage is leaking out everywhere. And guess who's responsible? You are. So from any part that goes from the street to your house, you're responsible for all of that in the middle. So if there's a problem, then you got to deal with it. And you may that's something you're never going to know. Even if you flush the toilet all day, you may not know it until it's too late and then you have to fix it. And it costs a lot of money to do. So try to definitely get something like that done. Try to go if it's a rainy day and look for houses because then you are able to, a good rain, not just a drizzle, but a good rain. So then you're able to see if there's some, some sort of a leak in the roof. That's a good quick sign for you. It's not foolproof because again, that can hide certain things but you're better off doing those types of things. The more things you can do in your corner, the safer it is in terms of buying a house. I would not buy a house sight unseen unless you're going to do a complete knockdown or removal and then rebuild. Um, you can get into a lot of trouble that way. But anyhow, hope I answered the question that someone had actually said about sight unseen. There was an article talking about that too. Make sure you join the Discord down in the description box below. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, I will see you. Take care.